Hey, our friends, we're going to draw a slimy skeleton monster. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun, and we hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers. They also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, but remember, you don't have to use markers. You can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom, like a pencil or even a crayon. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Because we're using our Art for Kids Hub markers to draw and color with, we're also using marker paper to draw on. This helps make our markers last longer. If you're using regular printer paper, that's going to dry out your markers super fast. All right, let's start by drawing our skull inside of the slime. I'm going to start here. We're going to draw a shape that's like this. We're going to go around and then right here we're going to leave a gap in between the lines. So it's almost like you're drawing an oval or a circle, but leave the bottom with a space. Now let's draw the teeth. We're going to draw U shapes that are connected and you can draw these kind of funny <laughs> One side's longer than the other. And then let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a big circle like this. And I'm gonna draw another big circle right next to it. Yeah. Then inside, we're gonna make these eyes look more 3D. We're gonna draw a crescent shape in each of the circles. Then we're gonna color in the left shape, but leave the right side white. Then let's draw the nose. We're going to draw an upside down V and then turn it into a triangle. Yeah. And then we can draw a little line inside to make the nose 3D and color in the left side also. Nice. There's our skull. Next, let's draw the rib cage. We're going to draw a U shape like this. And I'm drawing it sideways so it looks more like a C shape. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to connect the top. Then let's draw a smaller U shape inside. This is for the sternum. Then we're going to draw the ribs connected to this smaller U shape inside. And then we're going to draw two more ribs or two more rib lines. And we can do that on both sides. We're drawing the rib cage kind of floating off to the side because all of the bones are floating inside of the slime. That's going to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now we're now we're going to draw the bones. Uh, let's draw one right here. We're going to draw a diagonal line coming up. And then we can draw a little bump at the top. Ooh, I'm going to draw the other side first. Let's draw this side first. There we go. That'll make it a little easier. Then we're going to draw the other side of the bone connecting. And then we can draw that same bump down here for the other side of the bone. Now let's draw one over this way. I'm going to draw it coming out to the side and we can draw the other side too at the same time. And then let's draw a little bump right here and another one to connect to the other side. And we can repeat that same two bumps down here to finish. Nice. Now we got our pile of bones. Let's draw the slime going around it. Let's start up here on top of our skeleton, or the skull, I mean. Yes, and then we're going to draw a curve here, and we're going to go around this bone. Oh, and we could draw... Let's draw some drips right here at the bottom. So I'm going to draw one drip, and maybe a smaller drip. And then we're going to curve around and come down here. And because it's a slime monster, you could really change this anyway. You could add even more slime. You could add more bones, more drips. This is a kind of a big drip on this side. Then I'm going to draw it coming out this way. And then it's a blob that's connected to the floor, so it's kind of squishing out to the sides. Yeah. And then we're going to draw the slime coming back in and maybe comes out again and over to the other side and then connect, connect in. That looks like a ghost, too. It does. Let's draw little drips of slime. We could draw a little drip coming down right here. We could also draw little drips up here on the top. Maybe they're just floating off of our little slime monster. Oh, we could also draw a big... Maybe these are little extra puddles down here that have come off of the monster. I'm going to draw another one. Oh, and maybe a little one down here. 
We did it. We finished drawing our slime monster, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes. My favorite part. We were going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the end if you want to match our same coloring, but also remember you can color it any way you want. You ready to speed things up? Yes. Jack, we did it! We finished drawing and coloring our slimy skeleton monsters and they turn out awesome. Especially love yours. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring and if you have the same Art for Kids Hub markers that we use, you can use the same colors. We use two grains, 59 is the light green, that's the main color that we used. And then we use 54 grain, it's a darker green that we use for the shading. We also use two grays, yeah, we use the light gray to add shading to the bones, and then CG5 we use for the inside of the skull, the darker gray. You also used a white colored pencil for the highlights. Yeah, and that makes the slime look a little slimier or shiny. <laughs> <laughs> and you can leave that off to keep it less a little easier. This just goes right on top of the green marker, so you can do it at the very end. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your slimy skeleton monster. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.